hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm michelle if you're new here a few videos back i shared that i was going to be making some homemade gifts here from some of the things from our homestead and one of them was homemade soap and here it is and i wanted to share with y'all the process that i went through to make it it is cold processed soap and so there's two different types cold process hot process and this one just makes it easier to pour and makes um, the image if you're making some sort of um, design on it to come out better and then the hot process is it's a little bit harder to work with and you have to be really fast otherwise it can come out kind of clumpy or just not so nice looking in it there is its own look to it where you can see the soaps that have those weird like ridges on top and that's a design that some people use with the hot process soap and it's still attractive it's just not the look i was going for for these bars of soap where i wanted the mama cow and the baby cow to show really nicely so let's just jump into the video and see how i made the soap now the soap i chose to make was old-fashioned lard soap and it's a pretty simple recipe i did change one of the ingredients out i'll leave the link to the recipe that i used instead of using water i used cow milk and so you're going to start by gathering all your ingredients together and the first thing i needed was my lard a bowl and a scale and i like to measure in grams just because i feel like it's a lot more accurate versus weighing in ounces it's a lot more difficult to do that because you don't necessarily know like you could be a quarter of an ounce or half an ounce you know there's just too much wiggle room to play with so i went with a recipe that went um and measured in grams and so i measure my lard and then i put it inside of my crock pot to heat up and need it to get my coconut oil and so again i measured the coconut oil I do want to mention too, I only made half of this recipe for my first batch just because I didn't know how much it was going to make. The next time I probably will make the double batch because I have my two molds and this is the perfect amount for both of these molds. And then after I get my coconut oil together, I put it inside of the crock pot and let that heat up as well. And then we're gonna measure the lye. You wanna be really careful when handling lye because it can burn your skin. So I went ahead and swapped out my glasses for my safety glasses. And I also put on gloves. You don't wanna get this stuff on you. And so I put the lye and measured it in this little container that I had. And I went outside because sometimes this emits fumes that can kind of make you cough and choke and you really don't want to breathe this in you can also do it in your sink if there's a window close by you just want good ventilation but because i have all the kids in the house and everything i just wanted to go outside where i felt like it would be a lot safer so i mixed my lye and my milk together and i did use frozen milk cubes and that just helps the milk not um, overheat and it helps the lye be um, a good temperature so you don't have to wait so long for it to cool down or use a um, ice bath for it to get bring the temperature down and then after that you are going to pour the lye into the oils you want your lye to cool and just be a temperature between 100 degrees and 110 degrees and you want the same thing with your oils and so it's really good to use the crock pot because the crock pot heats up slowly it's a lot harder to overheat in my opinion if you work quickly and you know what you're doing i also use the low setting on the crock pot so that it would not overheat quickly and then once it's mixed together I used an immersion blender because you want this to mix really good and emulsify and what's happening is it's going to end up being kind of thick like a batter and you're looking for something called trace I do want to mention too when you reach the point of trace you can add essential oils or whatever scents you want inside of your soap I completely forgot to add a scent in this batch because it had been a long time since I made soap. So when I made the second batch, a little while later, I went ahead and added some essential oils and I scented mine with clove and cinnamon. And those are just some of my favorite smells. You'll kind of see that it leaves behind a trail and that's what I was looking for. So once I had reached the point of trace, I took the crock pot and poured my contents and I put the mold in the refrigerator for a little while to help it cool just a little faster and also because 
when you use milk sometimes the the soap can continue to um, heat up and it can cause your soap to turn like a brownish color and I kind of didn't want that and I made a second batch and that's what ended up happening which is totally fine it looks okay um, you would never know unless you were a big time soap maker uh, what happened but like I said it still looks pretty looks great and then once it cools to get it out of these molds you're gonna have to go around the edges because these are not silicone molds they're actually just plastic and you want to be really careful when you're getting them out because you don't want to break your molds and you also don't want to damage your soap and so I went around it with a butter knife now if you're interested in these molds I did order them on Amazon and so I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description it will be affiliated which just means if you use these links I make a little bit of money off of them, but they don't charge you any extra. So I just get a little bit more compensation for my time and for linking the items. I kind of um, turned it over and, you know, gently patted it and wiggled it to get it out. And it came out really nicely. And then I went ahead and cut the soap at that time as well into its six pieces. And then it's going to take five weeks of the soap curing before we can actually use it. Some people wait. Um, three weeks I prefer to wait the five weeks because the longer you wait the soap hardens even more but the choice is up to you all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're new here I hope you'll subscribe by clicking that red button and the bell so you get notifications of every time I post new videos and if you're one of my returning subscribers thanks for coming back I'll see you guys later bye